Hey mates. I have noticed a bunch of scrubs on the internet complaining about how hard the new RE2 game is. What? What? People think the Resident Evil 2 remake is too hard because I find it fascinating that anybody would be challenged by these games. These fuckers must have never played the first remake, because honestly I thought it was so easy that I might have accidentally put the game on easy mode from all the wrecking I was doing. But the internet has said otherwise, it's okay though not all of you can be a boss like me, so I have come to you from the game in heavens to bless you with these godlike strats. Trust me I'm one of the greatest biohazard players in the world, so I will turn your game from this. Yummy! Yeah! Yeah! Wow. Um, the inventory system, it's, it's trash. Oh my god! Fun. Not being able to shoot these zombies, yeah you can shoot them a couple Jesus. times, but the idea is to shoot them, get them off your back, and move on. You know, it's like, man, that sucks. Then I save up all these bullets and I fight this guy with a big eyeball on his shoulder. Boss battle sucks. You just run around in a little circle and you shoot him in his little eyeball. And it, it sucked up all oh my, my head. The leg. I'm dead, I'm dead again. Fuck shit, dicks, uh, cocks, ass balls. Fuck cocks, dicks, ass. It's pretty cool they set it up and it happens. You know? You did it on purpose. Dude, fuck Capcom. I mean it. Fuck that. To this. Hey, that's pretty good. Right, now let's get started. The first thing you must understand is that first and foremost, Resident Evil is a survival horror game where every bullet counts and you can't just rambo your way through like Resident Evil 6. Health is scarce, those fanny packs can barely hold your makeup, weapons hit like nerf darts, and your characters move like they're holding a shit 24-7. So needles to say you are at a disadvantage. But do not worry, this game is actually quite well designed. Now to get you off on the right foot, you must understand that not every zombie must die by your awesome manly hands. Many zombies can be avoided completely. The first part of the game is a great example of this. Notice how in this clip you can go right by them. That's because when they stand up they cannot attack, as zombies are so brain dead that they cannot do more than one thing at the same time. That is why they stick their hands out like retards. So whenever you find yourself in a situation where you go to go fast, run past them like you're Sanic the Hedgehog. But make sure that they are in the middle of getting up, cause if not they will grab your leg, as if begging to get stomped on. Now once you get the keys you can either try your skills and run past him, or shoot him in the head for a stun. So you can safely run past them one or two should do the trick. Then once you open the door you can run past the rest no problem. There I just saved you precious ammo you're welcome. If you find yourself getting hit, feel free to retry just this part as it will be good practice for you to get used to juking zombies. Also don't be afraid to save at every typewriter, you have unlimited saves. So if you fuck up at any point in time or you wish you did not get your ass beat as much during that boss fight, you have options on where you wanna try again. Sometimes redoing a much earlier part where you have a solid amount of health and equipment is better than trying to redo a part where you got nothing but the clothes on your back. Now once you reach this part of the police station, test your skills a bit more, run past the first one, and get these two. Right around the corner should be this fat so. After that you can enter the room and there should be a board and some ammo. Once you are back in the main hall, drop all your items into the chest except the knife gun and boards and yes that includes the ammo you have don't forget to reload before dropping the ammo don't worry though trust me you will be fine now when you see this crazy lady go up to the window and board that fucker when you walk past the window a bit she will break the window but don't worry she cannot break the board there will be many moments like this if you see a zombie outside the window it's only a matter of time before they break it so whenever you see this, if a board is not at hand don't be afraid to go back and retrieve the nearest board from your magic box. When you come back the zombie should still be banging like an idiot. These are always scripted events, but they don't activate unless you pass them go into a different room or come back from said room. Well from my experience, 
Another thing to note, is that these boards stay up for the entirety of the playthrough, and won't be broken. And if you ever see an open window, bets are, someone is gonna come through that bitch easier than Kool-Aid man goes through walls. Oh yeah! Once here go behind fat so two here, and you can aim for the head, and then go for some free knife shots. Know that the zombie won't strike for a good minute and that knife swings to the head. Stun zombies quite a bit. Also moving to the side, back or both is a really good option when knifing zombies to avoid getting hit, if you are not doing it while they are getting up or sneaking behind them. Now with your newfound knowledge knife these two motherfuckers right here. Congrats you have now taken care of 4 zombies without so much as taking a hit or wasting more than a clip. Side note, the knife can be quite good for checking that the dead stay dead, just make sure to be where it can't reach you and to only knife once, unless you see something move, in which case light that fucker up like Chef Ramses lights up his kitchen. Doesn't allow it. Oh me. <laughs> Alright now that you have passed that part, and have done your searching you will go down this hallway, and would you know it Captain Jackass doesn't know it's after hours, but do not fret for I have prepared you. Go towards the hall, you will notice to your right, a door which leads to a safe room and something in particular. You know what to do. Once you have finished trolling this fuck go up the stairs. You will see this fuck tarred up the stairs. Stay around here, and his dumbass will fall. Now that's one less jackass you have to deal with. After that get near this cop right here. Not too close. Make sure you don't touch her, or she will wake up. I think. Pick up your ammo and walk away. There will be moments where zombies will be chillin' like this. If you only need to get an item and they will no longer be in your way it's a good idea to not do the knife strat as it will most likely wake up a zombie that you may have never even needed to kill if you just let them sleep. But depending the position you're in they may just get up anyway. It is a risk to consider. But for now don't worry we'll get back to this one. Now once you get up to the top and find this key continue your journey. You will find your first inventory increaser. Yay your fanny pack is now able to hold your lip gloss. After applying your chapstick you will find yourself in an old school nerd's paradise. Go to the right avoid the left. Lure this zombie up the stairs. Now go down these stairs go to the right and pick up this knife and book. Go past fucked hard here open the door. And congrats you are now done with the, the tutorial. Now with this, you should be quite set for a good while. This entire beginning is really good at showing you what to expect from the game. For the most part, the Riasso Knight told you to leave all your items at the start, is because more likely than not there will always be ammo, health, and key items that you will need to pick up, and having all the space you can get is vital. Especially when you more than likely will not be needing all of those things, only carry health. If you are entering a previous area or you suspect, and or know, that there are very dangerous enemies nearby, for the final part of this video I will share to you my secret as to how I always end up with so much health and ammo that I feel like I was never in any danger in the first place. Okay. Now when done talking to officer of the month here. Go to the room here. Unlock it. Go to the art room. And pick up the key card. Open this door. You should no longer need this key. Items that will no longer be needed are marked by this red mark. Zip past here go to the armory. And bam you now have shotgun. Now remember those zombies you left behind. Well go ahead, and shoot them in their sleep. Why do this you might ask, is it not a waste of ammo? Actually no. As you may or may not know these zombies do not like to stay dead. So to make sure they will not become a problem I always shot their head off, before they could even try. This is a good idea as they may not even stay down. So in the long run you will actually save more ammo by only wasting one shotgun shell as compared to 20 knife strikes, or say 20 bullets, plus you get the added security of knowing they will never fuck with you again. It is a much safer option, than having to deal with crawlers. A good strat when facing walking opponents is to go for one or two headshots. Wait for, either, one, a lucky headshot blow, or, two. A stun for an opportunity to run at their face for a free shotty to the face. Thank you all for watching this video, and if you wish for more strats on this game or another please tell me in the comments below. Until next time. Get good my friend.